Tonight in a deadly shootout in Jersey City where a police detective was killed along with three people in a kosher grocery store. Investigators now say all evidence points to the attack being an act of terror and hate. They're treating Tuesday's rampage as domestic terrorism. Authorities say the two suspects were fueled by feelings of anti-Semitism and anti-law enforcement. They also expressed interest in the Black Hebrew Israelite movement. Investigators recovered five weapons linked to the suspects. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor is live in Jersey City with more on the investigation. Alice. Officials believe this attack could have been much worse. As you mentioned, they found multiple guns and a pipe bomb between the U-Haul van and the supermarket here. This is still very much a city in mourning, and all day, people have been coming to the supermarket here to leave messages for the victims who were killed by two gunmen filled with hate. New security video shows the stolen U-Haul van making its way along MLK Drive Tuesday at 1221. Police say the two people in the van, David Anderson and Francine Graham, had just killed Detective Joseph Seals at a nearby cemetery. Moments later, the van parks across from J.C. Kosher's supermarket. The two suspects, armed, get out and start shooting. You could see people walking by. They didn't engage anyone. They were clearly targeting that store. They were clearly targeting the Jersey City Police Department. This couple was sitting outside when it happened. She ran for cover in a store. Robert Jenkins waited until police came. I said, police, they ran in the store right here. They ran in the store. They ran in the store. They ran with the guns in the hand. Then I see them sitting there while they were still shooting. Then I got up and I walked and I ran in where she was. This surveillance video shows people sheltering in a corner bodega. Yeah, it's scared. They want to go to the basement. The suspects and police engaged in a shootout for hours. When it was over, three innocent people and the gunman were dead. Today, officials revealed the bloodshed could have been worse. They say the stolen U-Haul was outfitted with ballistic panels. They found a pipe bomb and... We recovered a 22 caliber Ruger Mark IV with a homemade silencer and a homemade device to catch the shell casings. Inside the supermarket, four weapons were found. We recovered... An AR-15 style weapon, which we believe David Anderson was firing as he entered the supermarket. We recovered a Mossberg 12-gauge shotgun, which we believe Francine Graham was carrying as she entered the supermarket. They also found several hundred shell casings at the scene. So why did they target the Jewish community and law enforcement? There has been considerable reporting that these two suspects are linked to the Black Hebrew Israelite movement. We have evidence that both suspects expressed interest in this group, but we have not definitively established any formal links to that organization or to any other group. Today on the streets of Jersey City, some women trying to spread a little love around a wounded city, passing out flowers to people walking by. Now, officials do believe the two suspects acted alone. As for the chain of events that led to the detective's murder, that's still under investigation. These two suspects, Graham and Anderson, remain the prime suspects in the murder of a Bayonne livery driver last weekend. They were unable to give us any further details on that and how it all may connect today. That's the latest here in Jersey City Live. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Alice, thank you. And funeral arrangements have been set for Jersey City Detective Joseph Seals. A viewing will be held Monday at 2 p.m p.m. at the McLaughlin Funeral Home on Pavonia Avenue in Jersey City. That will be followed by a funeral service at 10 o'clock Tuesday morning at St. Aidan's Church on Bergen Avenue, also in Jersey City.